So you're thinking about switching careers and going to sales. That's fantastic. You know what's great about a career in sales? What's great about a career in sales is that you get to put your own future into your own hands. What's great about a sales career is that you don't ever, ever have to wait for bonus day ever again. If you want the bonus, you just go get it. You know what's great about a career in sales? You get to be your own boss. You get to manage your own time, you get to do whatever you want throughout the day, throughout the week, as long as you get in the sale. You know what's great about a sales career? 85% of today's CEOs, presidents and senior executives come from sales and marketing. You know what's great about a sales career? In most companies, the best paid people are sales people. Oh, okay, besides the founder, of course. And it's easy to see why, because without sales people, there is no company. There's a few things that you have to watch out for though before you step into a career in sales. The first thing you have to watch out for is if you're doing it just for the... <laughs> if you are just doing it for the money, it is not enough. Okay? Big, big, do you know rich but miserable people? Ah, do you know any of them? It could be an uncle, it could be an auntie, it could be a friend, it could be a friend's father, a mother. Do you? That's right. There are lots of rich, miserable people around. Why? Because their focus in life is just only money. It's important, but it's not the only thing. Okay, so you should not be going to sales when money is the only thing you think about. You should not go into sales because of money because you should be selling something that gives you satisfaction. You should be selling something that makes you proud of yourself to sell. You should be selling something that, I mean, you're doing it for a higher reason. Not just money, but a higher reason. Maybe it's a cause, maybe you want to help people, maybe you want to improve a particular industry, maybe you want to give people a wake-up call, maybe you're doing it for your family. Now, when you do it for your family, it's no longer just about the money. Don't do it just for the money. Sell something that you are passionate about. If you don't care about financial products, don't sell financial products. If you don't care about fashion, don't sell clothes. If you don't care about underwear, if you don't wear underwear, don't sell underwear. That's the reason why I don't sell underwear. No, no, uh, that's not the reason why I don't sell underwear. But, you know, yeah, I don't sell underwear. In training, I give this example to people very commonly. I, I, I ask people, uh, I give them this scenario and this question, and the scenario is this. Let's say on the Kuala Lumpur Twin Towers, you know, it's a really tall building, it's about 88 stories high, and there's a plank across. Yes, I know there's a bridge there, but let's just say, you know, further up, 88th story. There's a plank there. It only fits one foot at one time, right? Very thin plank. It's raining, there's a thunderstorm, there's a heavy wind, and you can see the plank waving left to right. Here's the question. There's a plank, it's raining, thunder, the plank's waving left and right, it's raining, it's raining. the plank is slippery. If I put a million dollars at the other side of the building, are you willing to cross it? Are you willing to risk your life for that big bag of money, one million dollars. Most people, and we're talking about 99%, say no. They are not willing to risk their life for that million dollars. Then I turn it the other way around and I ask them, you know, I ask the audience, how many, how many of you have kids, you know, son or daughter? You know, lots of them put up their hands. And then I ask them, what if your son and daughter 
was in trouble and that they were going to fall down from the building, would you run across that plank? And for most people, without even thinking, they say, yes. So here's the thing. If you're just doing it for the money, right? Here's what's going to happen. If we're selling just for money, we're going to hit a rough patch. People are going to say no. People are going to say they don't like you. People are going to say bad things over the phone. You're going to get discouraged. And you know what? Suddenly, the money just doesn't matter so much anymore. So, if you're thinking about doing, having a career in sales because of the money, think again. There has to be another reason. Now, the second thing to look out for is that wait, if, if you just want to try it out, if you just want to try out a career in sales, I can bet you it will never work for you. Because most successful salespeople take years to get the selling formula right. Years. A lot of experimentation, a lot of uh, meeting customers, a lot of uh, experience goes into the formula of selling well. Now, if we're just going to treat it as, okay, I'm just going to try out sales, see if it works out for me, you're going to hit a road bump and you're going to quit before you can master it. So, you need time. And most successful salespeople have a fanatical focus on achieving goals. I'm just going to talk about the attitude of must versus maybe. Salespeople who treat sales like it's their career have an attitude of, I must do this, this must be done. And they have a fanatical focus on achieving their goals. If they say they're going to achieve 50,000 sales this month, they will do everything it takes. They'll sleep less, they will eat less maybe, whatever it takes. But for people who are just trying out sales, they have the attitude of, maybe, maybe I can achieve these goals. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can make a lot of money. And you know what? Half the month has gone by. If this person has just achieved a quarter of his sales, he'll go, oh, you know, this month I'm not going to make it. Let's try again next month. So, if you're just going to try out sales, it's not going to work out for you because you won't have the attitude of, I must. Now, when should you go into a career in sales? When should you do it? When is a great time? What's a great situation? You should get into a career in sales when it's not a job. Because a job is a short-term thing. A career is a long-term thing. You should start doing sales when there's a cause you want to pursue. Like, you know, uh, let me just give you an example. There's this, there's this guy, you know, uh, no names because I haven't asked him whether I can tell his story. Uh, this guy, it, he's a man, by the way, but he's championing the cause of the gynecology society. Tell me about it. I mean, guy, gynecology. But anyway, he's somehow passionate about the gynecology industry. I, ca <laughs> I guess most guys are. Huh? Anyway, this guy, passionate about it. Okay, there's a cause there, and he wants to support the cause, and he is one of the best. Self, I mean, he, he he raises funds for this cause, and he's one of the best people to actually do it. He raises a lot of funds. Okay, so sales is not just selling products; it's also about selling ideas. Okay, um, example: you might want to improve the education system, like you know what I'm doing now, what I want to do. Now I want to improve the education system, and that really keeps me going. Uh, maybe you want to improve healthcare. Uh, maybe you want to improve the political system, whereby you have to sell your ideas to all your constituents to vote for you. Maybe you want to, you know, improve the law system in your country, 
whereby now you have to sell legal services to, for a reputable law firm. There's a few things you got to watch out for though. A few things. Watch out for the kinds of service or products that you sell. You have to make sure that the products or service that you sell can help you build long-term relationships. Long-term, not short-term. Okay? What are the products and services that allows people to buy from you again and again and, and again? Or allow people to refer their friends to you again and again and again? Never do sales, never sell a product that is only a one-time sale because then you'll be struggling every single month to sell. While sales based on referrals, ba sales based on people buying again, takes a lot less energy. Right, so again, don't go into a career in sales selling one-time sale products. Let me give you an example, and I'm gonna pick out this one. Uh, there are other examples of worse. But let's just talk about credit cards. You know, I, I, I see credit card salesmen. And guys, if you sell credit cards, I'm sorry. It's not a good career. Why is that? Because nobody refers customers to you. No one. You can buy a credit card anyway. You just walk up to the bank and buy one. You don't need people to refer you. Okay? It's a one-time deal. I've, no, you know, I have a few credit cards. But I've never bought a single one. The second time from a different from the same person. So it's a one time deal. Nobody buys from you a second card. So guys, think about what products and service you sell. Okay? And make sure also that this product and service is a great product and service. Because the last thing you want to do is to sell a bad product. Because it gives you a bad name. What to watch out for? Watch out for your intentions. Why are you selling? Are you selling just to enrich yourself? Or are you selling to enrich others? Big difference because people, salespeople who are selling to enrich others, they have not just a clear conscience, but they have a purpose. They have a positive purpose. So, are you doing it to enrich yourself? Or are you doing it to enrich others? Because here's the interesting thing. Salespeople who focus on enriching others somehow will succeed anyway. <laughs>